What's up YouTube, back here again with another video, and today we're going to take a look at a new charger that's coming around on the market, and if I do say so myself, it's probably one of the better 1S LiPo and Lithium High Volt chargers that I've come across. Now I do have uh, the standard 6-bay charger like that's out with the URUAV, I have that 4-bay USB charger that came with the Tiny Hawk, and they work. They work, but the six that six bank kind of standard circuit board charger that's been out there and around, you know, it's got all the options that you may need, but it doesn't give you that real fine tuning that you may want. Uh, it works, but <clears throat> this product's on the market. I wanted to check it out, and it gives me all the functionality that I possibly could need for 1S batteries. Now, this is not necessarily the cheapest product also out there i paid 28 dollars from amazon now this one is branded the rc harlance or however you say it uh the six in one pro charger okay this is also uh uruav six in one pro charger so six in one pro charger is the name and you'll either get this one or the one that's branded uruav and from what i can tell they're exactly the same just different uh you know branding so there you go and actually I haven't even peeled this off yet oh so we can do it Whew. something satisfying about that plastic isn't it so here's the box and inside all you get is uh, a little instruction booklet I didn't even read it. read it I'll show you how it works it's not very difficult so six and one pro charger uh, where the six comes from, not entirely too sure. There's five bays. Maybe it's lithium high volt, lipo, lith lipo, lithium, and USB charge ratio. Yeah, I don't know where the six comes from because it charges only four different types of batteries and it's got five bays. So where is the six? And it only charges 1S batteries. It only takes one input, type of input. Yeah, not really sure what the six is there for. But anyway, so as we've already been looking, we've got one, two, three, four, and five, and they're all labeled corresponding to what you're gonna see on the screen in a minute. So we got MCX, which is the like the 1.5 connector or like the original uh, tiny uh, tiny whoop or whatever the whatever the little one from Horizon Hobby was called. Uh, the MCPX, which is going to be your PH 2.0 connector, which is going to be your standard tiny whoop batteries. You got this Molex, which is this type of connector. Okay, this was standard probably a couple years ago, but it will do it. Some Maybe some of your RC trucks have this connector, um, some different things. So you got Molex, which is kind of like tiny low C, I think it was also called. And you got the red JST. And I have a feeling that these JSTs are going to make a little resurgence here because... The JST is going to have a little more power, um, going to let a little more power through than these P, uh, PH2 connectors, I would think. Um, you know, you can definitely get some more bigger contacts, give you a little more power, but that's just a theory of mine that I've been kind of thinking about. Instead of using this Pitch 2.0 or this whatever MCPX connector, move all 1S to JST, I use all 2S and 3S on XT30 and 4S and above on XT60, and anything too crazy, you always have XT90, but again, I get on a tangent. So, let's plug this guy in, and again, the power input for this is up here on the top, and it takes from six to 20 volts. So, I believe that's up to, let's see, four volt, 4S is 16, maybe 5S? Yeah, would be over 20 volts on a four five S. so up to 4S, but there you go. So we're going to crank on some, I got 14 volts here to turn it on. The other thing is you have a USB output and like it says down here on the bottom, the USB output is 5 volt at 2 amp maximum. Uh, charge rate is up to 1 amp maximum and this is why I say this kind of gives you the full range. You can go from 0.1 to 1 amp. So up to a 1000 milliamp hour battery is going to give you a 1C charge. So that's really nice. Uh, those other chargers usually only go up to like a 0.6 or a 0.5 amp charge rate uh, 0.6 so you know 
you're not you don't have the ability to charge something a little bit bigger again it does lipo and lithium high volt so you know high volt 4.35 volts which is what you can see there or lipo at 4.2 volts input voltage 6 to 20 and that should cover all of that now let's see you got our three buttons here you got the square and these two arrows and then we have our screen so you can see right here in this green we have our input voltage 4.9 14.9 our USB output voltage at 5.2, and you can see right there the screen goes times out. And then we have our amp total amp usage for the USB if you were using the USB. So one, two, three, four, five corresponding number to the corresponding port. So one goes to one, and you can see right here that it's set on high volt, so it's going to say four, three, five. If we push and hold this left arrow. It takes us to this menu, and this menu is where you're going to be able to select which each port does. So, now all the menus move pretty fast on this guy, and the screen times out pretty fast. So, once you get in this menu, push the square. Now you can change with the arrows, high volt or lipo. Let's say lipo for this one. Push this button again. Now you can go all the way up to one amp. Push again, goes to the next. So, we want to do, let's say, 0.5. Let's say 0.2 for this one. And you get the idea you kind of just keep selecting through and you got to use each one you got to go through the whole thing to get to the next one okay so and it just cycles back around to get out you push and hold the square no matter where you are and it'll back you up to get in the settings you push and hold the right arrow now you control the backlight the um the beeping usb out uh, low voltage alarm and the sleep timer let's actually see if we can change that because that was kind of driving me nuts i imagine this is going to be seconds let's see how high this goes okay so 240 seconds so whatever that is four minutes i don't really need that i'm going to do 120 120 seconds. I believe that's seconds. And again, push and hold the square to back out. I tell you what, the other thing is too. If we are using, I'm either going to use a 12 volt or a 4s. So usually I'm going to use a 12 volt supply on here. So we'll make 10.5 the cutoff on that. And we'll back out. So there you go. Now let's plug a battery in and you can see what's going on. So bay one is lipo, bay two is lithium high volt. I think they kind of had that high. So let's go to bay three. And again, you're just going to plug her in. And now we got some action. So this guy's charging. This is the current charge and the amp that's going into it. And it's going to be blinking red. And when it's done, it will be green. This one I have four. Oh, there's the fourth one. Oh, that one's already charged up to light though. All right. So you can see as they're charging, they're blinking red, and the green ones. He's either not in use or is already charged up to what you have selected. There you go. I mean, that's pretty much the charger in a nutshell. This is the RC Harlance 6-in-1 Pro Charger or, or the URUAV 6-in-1 Pro Charger. Going to be the same thing. I think it's an awesome little one ash charger. Gives you a little more control, uh, a little more flexibility in what you're charging so you can keep stay more safe. And pretty much charges all the 1S connectors that are kind of popular at this time, moment in time. So there you go. That's what I got. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.